Where most people just saw an overgrown field, Colin Drake saw an opportunity. Basically, uh, I, I would say that the field is essentially just a large canvas. An architect by day, Drake never set out to design mazes, but six weeks ago, inspiration hit and he started to carve out paths with a lawnmower at Highland Middle School. Word of that maze spread, and soon enough, Drake created three more mazes in an odd-shaped area behind Atherton High School, free for anyone to enjoy. This is a really strange time, uh, both in the city and across the world, and um, it's been funny as we've been mowing, we've kind of been dreaming about how this could be something more than just one maze or two mazes sitting in a field by our house, and about how um, really, if people knew this was here, that it would bring anybody that wanted to make the trip and they would be welcome to enjoy this. Each of the three mazes at Atherton has a different degree of difficulty for different abilities. The hardest is laid out as an A in honor of the school. We've had times anywhere from seven to eight minutes up to an over an hour. We've had some very frustrated adults. The kids seem to do all right. It's the adults that seem to have the problems with them. It's difficult, but you start, you start to kind of find landmarks the more you get through it and it just becomes more fun and people start to follow you once you know how to get through it. <laughs> and you try to go faster so they can't follow you. And yeah, it's just fun. Drake is making and maintaining the mazes for free. He hopes to partner with more JCPS schools or other entities to take them across the city. What a wonderful amenity this could be for the city, both as both a kind of a public arts project, but then also just as a social statement about um, how important it is uh, that every person in the city feels like they have something to, to look forward to uh, in a time that can be really stressful right now. Natalie Grice, WLKY News.